Treasure Bomb. Stick around, folks. This may be the best recipe I have ever created. what it is. What we're talking about today? Leftover mashed potatoes. Now, hey, I've made a little of everything out of there with them. I even just warmed them up, put some butter with them, eat them again. I've made potato pancakes for breakfast. Oh, they good. Me and Shannon and the Beagle and Frank made up a whole bunch of mashed taters and what we're gonna do? Potato bombs. You heard me right. Yeah. It'll make a big explosion of your taste buds when you pop these things in your mouth. So what do we got? About three and a half cups of leftover mashed potatoes. But we gotta thicken them up just a little. So we're gonna add a little flour to them rascal. Give them a stir. Cause we gotta get these to where they'll bind up enough we can make a ball with them. It's probably gonna take roughly about maybe a half to three fourths of a cup, depending on. Now, I do like to season them. If you ain't got none of this mesquite seasoning, get you some or if all you got is some salt and pepper, you can use that too. I prefer this. I like to season the potatoes. If they fall off the spoon, they need a little more flour. So we're looking at the three-fourths of a cup now. Oh, oh, it's going to go. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, so it's good. Flour your hands pretty good because we're going to put them in there. I like to get me about a good heaping tater, good heaping tablespoon of taters. Then you just go to doing this little magic act. Whoa. I'm going to roll them in that flour just a tad. We're going to roll them a little more. Guess what? It is a ball now, right? We're gonna kick this up into warp speed. Shan might fast forward through it, but let's get the rest of these taters made up into these little bombs. Whew. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty tired. That was fast, wasn't it? Now, don't you to look in here? It saved me about a half a cup of these mashed taters. We're gonna have to have them to put the cap on the end of them bombs and roll them back around. So always make sure you save just a little. Now, if you feel like this is getting a little too tacky or sticky in your hand, it's not like bread dough, folks. I'm not after that. I just want it to stay good enough together to where we can get it done. So if you need to, you can add a little more flour. Make sure your surface stays floured here because it's going to come in. Hey, what's next? I like to lay them down here, take my finger, thumb them in there, Mash them around a little to where we can make something to hold the ammunition that we need to put in here. We done made a new form of Tupperware bowls made out of taters. I like to put a little cheese on the bottom first. Give it a little mash when you get it in there. Next after that, some bacon bits. Now if you've got some bacon that you got fried up and you want to put it in there, that is fine also. Otherwise, I just use these little deals right here cause you can just pop these in your mouth at any time. I'll show you like this right here. That's quality control. You gotta make sure it's good. We gotta sum this little green onion. It's about a fourth of a cup that I started out with. Chopped up really, really fine. I'm talking finer than frog's hair. So set that in there, Some sour cream. Now it don't take much. I'm gonna go with that much right there. I like to try to mash it around just a little, but you gotta be careful. Your bomb will explode before you get her done. What goes back on top? Some more cheese. You can't never have too much cheese. Now let's go to mashing this deal around. That's why we saved a little extra. Did we need it? Oh, saved us a little extra, got them on there. What do we do now? We just roll her around. All right, I'm gonna tell you, this thing is armed and dangerous. We ain't got the fuse lit yet, but be very, very careful when you set it down, cause it'll go at any time if you ain't paying attention. If you folks is one of them measuring fanatics where you got to know everything, like Shan, I'm probably putting about a half a 
teaspoon to a teaspoon of everything in here. So that way you'll know. Green onion, sour cream, a little more cheese. Get in there. Don't be really careful after you get them all back in there too, not to mash them or roll them a whole lot with a lot of pressure. You'll get it all where it wants to come out the outside. So two down, six to go. You can see it, I've got my little old oven over there on that infrared burner. And we are going to put some oil in it. I like to use canola oil if I ain't got no creamy fry oil. I usually make it about an inch and a half deep in there to where it's going to come up to ball about a little over halfway when you fry it. Depends on how big your vessel is that you got in there. You got one of them fry daddy deals at home, them will work great for this. What we got in here, rooster bullet. We done pushed it in there and whisked it all up, make us an egg wash. We got to have it. Make sure you got you a little reservoir of flour left to put there in the palm of your hand. So we're going to take this here egg wash and we're going to brush them around here. I like to just set them down if I can. We'll set them right here in this dab of flour so it'll roll around for a minute. If we can get all of it covered there, then just turn it over, blow that excess off there. What happens next? Panko breadcrumbs. Take them little deals, just sort of float them over. You don't want to mash them. Just shake off any excess there. All right, we got three of these bombs ready to go in the hot grease. Now, you could have dropped that in there, but that bomb would have went off. So if you ain't got one of them deals, I'd advise you to get one of them or a big old slotted spoon, something like that. Shake off that excess. Drop them right in there and let the goodness begin. It don't take long for them things to go to browning. But we got to make sure that they get that good crunch everywhere. And I want them good and golden brown. Just be really careful and let's not burn no grease or get them too brown. We turned them over, folks. I'm going to check the brown on this other side to make sure it's right. And I'm going to go ahead and crisp this side, this first side up just a tad more. And then we're going to get them out. Put them on a wire rack to let them cool. I always like to place a paper towel or something under them, or you can put them on a cookie sheet. Let them things drain good. Let's get these others in there. Right. Now remember, we laid that down there on that flyer side. Blow that extra off there. Just make sure you get that egg wash everywhere around there. You can see, is it is that old TV show y'all used to watch so many years ago? It's what I call a full house. Remember, I like to roll them back around in there, crisp that bottom side up one more time if it ain't as crisp as I like it. Things have cooled a little. Now, I want you to be able to hear it. This right here is a happy meal. There's a crunch in every bite. These are a hit. Do your dance. James Brown, I feel good. My gosh. Can you see all that goodness that's taking place in there? This will make your taste buds explode. That's why I call it a bomb. I mean, there's an explosion of flavor that goes on in every single bite. Have y'all ever had one of them loaded baked potatoes somewhere? Got all them, what they call chives and sour cream, goodness in them. Don't go down there to the store and get none of them. Just fry you up some of these and there is a crunch. Them panko. Ooh. So folks, you ain't got no leftover mashed potatoes? Hey, guess what? They sell them already pre-made mashed taters in a little cold section. Get you some of them, bring home if you don't want to make some to whoop these deals up. The description for the recipe and everything that we used in it will be in the little link right below the video. Shan's always good at putting it in there. It is there every time. And remember, this would not be possible without that great producer that I have and I love so much. So, be careful, 
These are a potato bomb. They will hurt somebody. How? Eat too many of them, you'll find out. God bless you and hit the subscribe button.